The French government has accused Australia of a betrayal after it ripped up a submarine building agreement to forge closer ties with Britain and the US. French Foreign Affairs Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian said the decision by Australia to scrap the £43 billion arrangement with Paris was a stab in the back. We had established a trusting relationship with Australia, and this trust was betrayed, he fumed. The Frenchman said he was angry and very bitter about this breakup. Mr. Le Drian added that he had spoken to his Australian counterpart days ago and was given no indication of the move. Britain and the US will now help Australia to build nuclear-powered submarines, as part of an agreement announced by Boris Johnson, President Joe Biden and Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison. The newly formed strategic alliance was forged to challenge an increasingly provocative China. The three leaders last night said, we will leverage expertise from the United States and the United Kingdom, building on the two countries' submarine programs to bring an Australian capability into service at the earliest achievable date. The deal comes at a time when President Biden is challenging NATO allies to be more robust with their stances towards Beijing. As a result of this new pact, Canberra will abandon its submarine building deal with France. Losing the lucrative agreement has left the French government seething, Mr Le Drian and French Defence Minister Florence Parly said the new AUK-US deal was a breach of trust between France and Australia. In a statement, they said, the decision is contrary to the letter and spirit of cooperation that prevailed between France and Australia. The American choice to push aside an ally and European partner like France from a structuring partnership with Australia, at a time when we are facing unprecedented challenges in the Indo-Pacific region, shows a lack of consistency France can only not and regret. Former Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier, a centre-right challenger to President Emmanuel Macron, also lashed out at Canberra. He said, by breaking its commitments with France on submarines, Australia is dealing an unfair blow to promising strategic cooperation. Lessons on the political support of such contracts, the Franco-Australian deal has been forced to face significant flaws over the years. There were significant tensions between French shipbuilder Naval Group and Australia over skyrocketing costs. Design changes and local industry involvement in the construction of 12 diesel shortfin Barracuda submarines. Canberra will now receive nuclear-driven submarines, which naval experts say can stay underwater for longer, move faster and are considered to be almost undiscoverable. The UK has announced the New Deal as one of the most significant collaborations in recent years. President Biden has praised Britain's involvement as part of a trend of European nations playing a greater role in the Indo-Pacific. A senior U.S. official said, Great Britain is very focused on the concept of global Britain and their tilt is about engaging much more deeply with the Indo-Pacific. And this is a down payment on that effort. This alignment is about a new architecture of meetings and engagements among our senior defense and foreign policy officials to share perspectives, to align views. But we will also announce efforts to spur cooperation across many new and emerging arenas, cyber, AI, particularly applied AI, quantum technologies, and some undersea capabilities as well. You're going to see a much more dedicated effort to pursue integration of security and defense-related science, technology, and industrial bases, and supply chains. Prime Minister Mr. Johnson said while the three nations are separated on the map, our interests and values are shared. He added, the AUK-US alliance will bring us closer than ever, creating a new defense partnership and driving jobs and prosperity. The pact will be, one of the most complex and technically demanding projects in the world, and last for decades, Mr Johnson said. Britain has built nuclear submarines for 60 years, with work from Rolls-Royce and Bay Systems.